Shalom. This is Nizama Shalom Adabar Yasharal on my channel Nizama the Hebrew Mystic Healer. Before I get started with this very important message, I would like to show some love to my 3D kin, the 12 tribes of Israel, the Hebrew Israelites scattered to the four corners of this third dimensional earth plane of existence. Shalom and much love to you. I would also like to show some love to my cosmic kin scattered to the 12 dimensions of this universal egg matrix. Much love and shalom to you as well. And as always, I would like to show some appreciation to my viewers, especially those of you who are subscribed. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so now and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So, I'm actually hesitant to do this video and not because I don't feel that it's important, not because I don't feel that it is true, not because I don't feel that it shouldn't be said, but because I feel like it will probably fall on deaf ears and end up just hardening people's hearts. But regardless, and whether or not that is the case, I'm going to go ahead and speak on this particular topic. So there's a lot of information and misinformation going on about Nibiru right now. Nibiru is not a planet. Nibiru is not a metallic spaceship. Nibiru is the soul star, aka the red flaming Merkaba chariot of the Nibiru, of my ancestors, of the ancestors of the Hebrew Israelites, of the ancestors of the Anunnaki that have been incarnating down here on the earth plane through these Hebrew Nibiru avatars. There's a lot of fear surrounding this topic, as there should be, because the Nibiru are not coming back to hand out flowers. They're coming back to enact justice and judgment. They are the purifiers. They are the destroyers. And not of everything and not of the whole earth, as a lot of people are claiming and a lot of fear mongers are stating and a lot of information, excuse me, misinformation that's being cycled, not that. They're here to destroy the kingdom of Edom, of Esau, of the regressive Anunnaki hybrid lineages that have been ruling this world and oppressing their brother Jacob. They're coming back to take out the bloodlines that sell sold to these people and oppressed Jacob, their children, the children of the gods. They're coming back to clean house. They're coming back to put things in the proper order aligned to the laws of the Heavenly Father and Earthly Mother. So no, they're not coming back to hand out flowers. And no, they're not coming back to destroy everything. This is a purification. This is a transmutation. That's what fire does. I'm wearing this particular kum kum paste today as directed by my ancestral powers to represent this fact. I had a friend of mine on Facebook ask, well, why are they coming now? Why now? Well, because just like the Bible says, which was originally our text, just like the Bible says, you don't harvest a crop until it's fully come to its own, its full fruition. And you don't harvest the wheat without also harvesting the tares. What is a tear? It pretends to be a wheat. It pretends to be good. It pretends to be righteous. It pretends to obey the laws of the land. It hides beneath those which actually are. It pretends to be good. It pretends to be love. It pretends to be light. And really what it does is it actually siphons off of the wheat. 
It's like a parasite, and it looks just like the wheat. It blends right in. Likewise, the regressive lines of the Nunica hybrids, the Edomite bloodlines, they blend right in. And they act innocent, and they play the victim, and they try to create this illusion that what they are doing to this earth realm is for everyone's highest good. That they are trying to reestablish order, that they are trying to run things as they should be ran, that they're trying to do all this population control, all of this stuff that they're doing, and it's wicked. They sacrifice children. They deal in the organ black markets. They drink blood. They oppress the children, the chosen ones, the royal Nibiru bloodline which incarnates on this earth at this time. They destroy the earth. They drill into her. They pollute her waters. They slaughter her beasts without any regard for life in mass numbers. They put chemicals in the air, they put chemicals in the food, they put chemicals in the earth, they put chemicals in the water. These are wicked beings, these are wicked people. And they have been given time to repent, they have been given time to change their ways. They actually run things on the earth realm at this time. They could have changed at any point in time. They could have given reparations to the people whom they enslaved and oppressed. They could have given their land back. They could have not sat on patents of technology that could have repaired things and allowed us to live in tune to the earth. They didn't have to pollute the water. They didn't have to kill off the animals. They didn't have to genetically modify the crops and destroy the soil, the nutrients in the soil. They didn't have to do those things, but they did. They didn't have to come and conquer other people's cultures and lands, smash their babies' heads against the rocks, and feed them to alligators, destroy and slaughter thousands and millions of people, and take their culture from them, and replace them, and paint them over as though they didn't exist, but they did do these things. And instead of apologizing, they try to sweep it under the carpet as though it never happened, try to rewrite history. It's the same thing they do in the media. Glamour magic. The Mount of Esau will be destroyed. The government of Esau will be destroyed. These bloodlines will be destroyed. And the people who will make it into the next age are going to be those who align to the earthly mother and heavenly father. Now, what do I mean by that? The natural laws, the universal laws, the basic laws, the laws of seven. The laws that everybody deep down knows that they should follow to live aligned to this particular realm, this particular universe even. And so the seven judges, and I did a video on this if you want to look throughout my channel. I did a video on the seven judges, the fall of Esau, and, you know, the earthly mother and heavenly father. I did a video on that. The seven judges, the seven plagues are all connected. The seven seals that these elite have put over the earth, the chakras of the earth, that have put over as implants over the Hebrew people to keep them enslaved, long overdue. These seals are coming off and these plagues are being released on their bloodline. So what's going to happen with Nibiru? Why is Nibiru here? <laughs> Nibiru is here to purify. Isaiah chapter 63. Malachi chapter 3.
They're going to tread these people down like ash. We are going to tread these people down like ash. And they will not rise ever again. In order for there to be peace, in order for the earth to heal, the wicked powers that be that have been in control must be brought down. There has to be justice for what they've done to our people. That's karma. Everyone wants to talk about karma, the laws of karma. That's karma. It's not enough to just say shallow words that you're sorry when you've never offered reparations and you've never offered recompense, not fully, barely scratched the surface. And even with, you know, my so-called tribes, you know, in my bloodline that go back to the so-called, you know, Aboriginal of America or the Native Americans or the Indigenous of America, anytime you did offer reparations, you just turn around and take the land back whenever you want and the children are still and the people are still stuck on reservations. The so-called Negro races never received any kind of reparations at all. So, this is what's going on. Yes, Nibiru is coming, that red dragon, that purifier. It's not a destroyer like you think. That's how, see, that's how the so-called white man rewrote the Bible. Oh, the red dragon, the destroyer. No. Purifier. Because in order for things to be put back in proper order, the wicked have to be cleansed. So there is a time for peace and there is a time for war. There is a time to wound and there is a time to heal. In order for the earth to heal, in order for our bloodlines to heal, these people need to be gone. These beings need to be gone. Then everything can be restored to its proper balance. Because these people don't, they're lawless. They don't even follow their own laws that they make. But they expect everyone else to. And when you don't, you get shot in the street, get beat down, you get put in jail for asinine shit. This is what's happening. This is coming. And this has to happen. So if you want, you know, to survive this, learn to live in tune with the earth. Live, learn to live in tune with the natural cycles of, of, the, of the skies of the Heavenly Father and the earthly cycles of the earthly mother. Respect life. Respect the animals. Respect, you know, the, the earth, the trees, the rocks, the air, the sky, the water. You know, respect one another. And this isn't, you know, me talking about hate. Because guess what? The people that run this world, they're full of hate. They're the ones doing the killing and murdering. Our people have been victims for a very long time. We are not the predators. We are the victims. And so, of course, when you deal with any kind of narcissist or sociopath or psychopath, they always cry out and play the victim whenever the tables are turned and it's time for them to have their plate of justice. When it's time for revenge to be served cold, they want to complain and act like they didn't do nothing wrong. Oh, that was our ancestors. We don't do that. Really? Because last time I checked, this shit's still happening. So the only way for us to live in peace is for the indigenous people to live as our ancestors did. And for the intruders, the people that, you know, don't live according to the laws here, to violate them and, and that, you know, kill and, and harass other, you know, beings here, human and not human, they need to go. They gots to go. So anyway, I wanted to just put that out there. This is happening. It's been prophesied. It's been prophesied in, in the Hopi prophecies. It's in the Bible. There's even parts of this in the Quran. There's parts of this in, you know, the, the Emerald Tablets of Toth. 
There's parts of this in other Apocrypha books. The Colburn Bible. This awakening, this self-realization of the Nimbru people. And our ancestors, a.k.a. our higher dimensional selves, our celestial selves, are coming down. So I just wanted to put this out here. And I don't care. I don't care if I lose followers. I don't care if I lose clients. This is what's happening. This is what's going on. And it has to happen. If, if you're really serious about, you know, 5D and, and living in love and living in harmony, well, we got to get rid of these people then. Because it's not going to happen. They don't let us live in harmony. They don't let us exist. They mow down anyone who tries to live off grid and grove. So they, there's, you can research it. Even so-called white people that have tried to live off grid and communes, they'll try to shut them down and, and take their stuff and everything else. And it's worse for so-called black and native people. So I just wanted to put this out there. This is what's up, guys. This is what's going on. And you know what? It's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. This purification has to take place. Just like when fire comes through and it burns through all, all the death, dead uh, plants and overgrowth. And then afterward, the soil is fertile for planting. And you can't harvest wheat without burning the tares. So that's it i just wanted to uh, put this out there i have other videos coming out definitely stay tuned if you like this video give it a like take care guys and you know what off-grid living focus on off-grid living focus on getting in tune to nature and meditation and survival prep that's what we need to be focusing on right now making our bodies healthy mentally physically emotionally spiritually Take care, guys. Shalom.